Yo, 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 what's up Game Leapers? Coach Jizz is back and in this video you will find out the 15 champions who have improved and fallen off the most in 11.2 because with each patch there are a bunch of changes that influence the balance of play. So to know which champions you should or shouldn't keep playing for the rest of this patch, in just the next 10 minutes or so you are going to have all the information you need. Now we're also going to be projecting how strong or weak these champions will be next patch and 11.3 is only a few days away. Now before we get into it guys, if you want to learn about meta AD carries and playing like a pro, don't listen to Doublelift, listen to me, GameLeap.com. You see, we upload fresh daily content that is in tune with the meta and what's popular. So if you want to learn how to be the best this season right now, click on one of the links in the description or comments and get signed up. All right, let's get into it. And starting off the countdown is a champion who has improved in the win rate department by 1.5% this patch. And the reason behind this sudden increase in success is the buffs this champion received in 11.2. Guys, bananas are back in season and our 15th spot belongs to Soraka. So if you want to play a spellcasting support then Raka is a legit option now and will still be good in 11.3. You see Riot buffed your Q and W so your healing is amplified, meaning that in lane you and your ally have more sustain which is great for regular trading and when late game comes around you become arguably the most valuable member of your team just because you can perma heal someone if not everyone. Now the recent Grievous Wounds buffs, yes they make it more difficult to have an impact generally but these direct buffs have put Soraka back on the map. Now in 11.3 yes Staff of Flowing Water is losing 10 AP so your healing will be a tiny bit weaker, but all in all, Moonstaff Soraka has serious carry potential. Okay, just ahead of Soraka is a champion who has suffered this patch and it's interesting because they weren't nerfed and their major items weren't nerfed either, so how does a 1.5% decrease in win rate work? Well guys, for Janna, this patch has been harder because your biggest counters in lane, Seraphine and Senna in particular, have been played a heck of a lot more. I mean, Senna's pick rate has gone up over 10% in just the last 10 days, which is hectic, so yeah, more of your lanes and games are harder to win. Now for next patch though, your nemesis Seraphine is on the chopping block, so my guess is she will be played less, and other supports like Alistair, Leona, and Rel, who you are great against, will make more appearances. As I said with Soraka, guys, the water staff is getting nerfed, so your abilities won't pack as much power, but into hard engaged team compositions, Janet is and will still be one of the best supports to pick. Alright, now you're probably sick of hearing about supports, and can we get a like on the video because this next champion is a mid laner? Now, before 11.2, I said this champion was one of the worst, and thankfully for those of you who play her, after the buffs this patch, LeBlanc Long's win rate has increased by 1.5%, but I have some bad news for you LB mains. So Riot buffed your base health growth this patch and reduced your Q's mana cost at later levels. These are kinda nice and have improved our win rate a tad, but your wave clear is still shocking and your mana costs are high. Yes, you still have damage, but it's very hard to get priority in lane and roam effectively. I mean, if you guys watch Perks play LB in Cloud9's game against Team Liquid today, it just looks so sad. And next patch, I hate to say it because I actually like LeBlanc as a champion, she will be worse. Seeker's Arm Guard and Zonya's Hourglass is more expensive, so your AD matchups naturally become harder, and Verdant, Barrier, and Banshee's Veil are getting buffed, which is a great LeBlanc stopper. Even if you ban Cassidy, guys, it's going to be a big uphill battle in the coming weeks. Okay, up next we have one of the best champions in the game right now, and if you want free low, there are not many better than Udyr. Because of the Turbo Chem Tank change, Udyr's win rate has gone up 1.5% as well, to almost 54% overall. He's that insane that he's even been picked in pro play a lot. So the Chem Tank change, right reduced its cost by 400 gold to 2800, decrease its magic resist but increase its ability haste and change its mythic passive so it now grants 5 ability haste per legendary item. So you can get to this mythic spike earlier now and all that ability haste is super useful for spell spamming Udyr. Now next patch your phoenix stars is copying a nerf at later levels meaning your damage in the early and mid game is down and the health from dead man's plate is lower too. But, Force of Nature is getting buffed, as is Frozen Heart. So in the big picture, 11-3, yeah, it's a little worse, but you guys have every right to play him next patch as well, so get around him. Now coming in next, we're heading to the bot lane, and though this champion has seen more play in higher elo, and in pro play, overall, his win rate dropped by 1.5%. Not every win rate change in this list is 1.5%, by the way, and it's going to get spicy real soon, so get ready. But yeah, Ephelios, guys, a 46.5% win rate. Pretty depressing, right? Now there is one main reason behind this drop. Gale Force's active is now a 90 second call down again. So you're more reliant on your support and team for peel, and let's be honest, has this really ever existed? And the second, the minor reason, is because your Severum Q now deals ridiculous.
reduce damage per hit with Kraken Slayer. So yeah, if you build Kraken Slayer, it's less effective. So two of your mythics got nerfed, and though next patch Immortal Shieldbell and Phantom Dancer are getting buffed, these aren't optimal, so it's looking grim for Aphelios. Alright, up next guys, the 10th spot on our countdown is a champion whose win rate has decreased by 1.6%, not one and a half. Now if you're an AD carry, you'll be happy hearing this because Maokai is not as annoying and oppressive as he was. You see, in 11.2 guys, the Kai got nerfed, so your saplings deal less damage later in a game and cost more mana to toss. Now seeing as your E is the ability you max, yeah, it hurts you. But if you're thinking of playing Maokai until next patch and in 11.3, wise choice, his win rate is still over 51% and there are no signs of this changing. Moving on to our next pick in the countdown guys, and like Uda, this champion has benefited enormously from the turbo chem tank changes. He's also a jungler and has the second highest win rate across the board. So number 9 on this list is Scar and if Uda is bad, pick this dude straight up. In fact, next patch, keep picking him because Force of Nature is getting buffed and this is great for Skana because movement speed is so vital and one of your most important stats. Like if you thought a power balling Ramus was scary, you haven't seen anything yet. Now coming in next guys is another champion that has been blessed by Rito's bust because after being one of the worst champions on the rift, he is back in action. Now Trundle guys, as a jungler, his win rate is back to 50% so if you want a reliable, consistent pick, Trundle is your man. Or troll. So your Q bonus damage ratio increase, so the more AD you build, the more damage your Q does, and your W's bonus attack speed increase by 10% at each level. Now both of these make your clearing better and dueling better as well of course, so when you're contesting scuttle crabs or dragons or rift heralds, yeah you're more of a threat. We've also got to mention the change Riot made to Frostfire Gauntlet which is your best mythic item. 400 gold cheaper and despite gaining less armor, access to this spike and damage earlier is well worth it. In fact if more players actually playing Trundle build this, his win rate would be a lot higher I'm sure of it. Good pick in the near future guys. Alright the champion holding the 7 figures win rate change this patch has dropped a lot because in 11.2 Nunu and Willump got hit by a couple of nerfs. Now before these came out, Nunu was not just one of the best junglers in the game, but one of the best champions, and he was very annoying to play against because there wasn't enough counterplay. Well now, thankfully there is. So your base movement speed and health are down, meaning you are more killable in the early game, and less of a map threat because you can't gank as much. The 50-51% to win rate won't improve either in 11.3 because Deadman's Plate is losing 75 health, which affects your Q's damage and shield you get from your ultimate. There are definitely stronger junglers out there guys, but you can still make Nunu work. Now I want you to answer me honestly here, how many of you have started playing Ivern recently? Now if you said yes, you are a dirty elo abuser. Now I don't blame you actually, it's all fair game. This patch though is pretty weird because Ivan's E ratio got nerfed, but his win rate has increased 2%. So I've been scratching my oceanic brain to find a reason for this, and I've come to this conclusion, because bruises and tank supports are stronger and more popular. You see, your synergy with bruises is unreal, and not having a spell casting support on your team, so a Soraka or a Seraphine for example, is good because it's just overkill. The CC you get from a Leona, from a Thresh is so valuable, valuable, and if they start a fight and leave your AD carry behind, you can cover and protect them. Also, Ivan's play rate has dropped a little, so maybe only Ivan mains are playing him now, I'm not too sure. So in 11.3, yes, the nerf to Staff of Flowing Water will affect your influence on a game, but there's no reason to not play the Vern, so keep doing it. Here we are guys, the top 5 win rate changes of 11.2, and before revealing who the big winners and losers are, one last friendly reminder to do yourself a favor and get your index finger clicking on the Gamely website for Challenger League content design to help you improve and become the best you can be, links down below. Alright, now starting off the top 5, we have a champion who is legit busted if you can play her well, and like Ivan, I can't really put my finger on why Talita's win rate has dropped over 2% this patch. That's never a good thing to admit, but I'm serious, like has the Ravenous Hunter nerf had that much of an impact? I mean in high elo she still has a 54% win rate, so it's a bit puzzling, and I'm going to encourage you guys to play her despite this random drop in win rate. She is one of the best clearing junglers in the game at the moment, and though this will be a little worse in 11.3 because of the Q nerf, it will still be top tier. And in 11.3 as well, your passive movement speed is getting reverted, so you will be able to get around the map and make plays way more than you were for the last couple of patches. Now if one of you can enlighten me in the comments about this win rate decrease, much appreciated. Alright, like Talia, this champion's win rate has decreased by just over 2% overall, and this one I can't explain. What a coach I am. Because in 11.2 guys, Okali's Q got nerfed. They should cast me as the next Sherlock Holmes, I reckon. So yeah, it costs more energy to use your Q at later ranks, and seeing as this skill is the one you max first, this is actually massive because your laning is weaker 
and in team fights you are more exploitable. In fact, it's gotten that bad that Akali has the worst overall win rate out of everyone. Even in high elo where she is meant to shine, her win rate is just 42%. Next patch as well, Zonya's is nerfed, so if you guys care about winning, wait until Riot see the light before picking her again. Now I'm excited about this next champion guys, because I put this champ in our top 20 champions video for 11.2 and guess what? Nocturne's win rate has increased by close to 3% to over 52% overall. So after Tiamat got changed as the preseason started, Noc was down in the dumps, but this patch has been his redemption, and we ain't talking the item. Now your Q and R cooldowns have both decreased, meaning that as a mid laner or jungler, your wave clear and cam clear and poker better, you have a better chance of chasing someone down, and you can get more ultimates off during a game, and therefore carry harder and faster. Now Nocturne will be as strong as he is right now, guys, so keep locking him in. All right, time for the runner up the champion boasting the number two spot on our countdown is one whose win rate has increased by a whopping 4%. Now, if you choose to play her support or AD carry, Senna has suddenly become one of the best bot laners. So right, increase your attack speed ratio, increase your chances of dropping a soul and the gold they offer, and increase your Q's healing ratio and damage ratio. Oh, and perhaps most importantly, your Q now adds a stack on Kraken Slayer. So if you auto Q auto someone, you proc the true damage. Now, if you are playing Senna or want to play her, build the these three items, Kraken Slayer, Ginsu's Rage Blade, and Rapid Fire Cannon. Your DPS is insane with the on hit from Ginsu's and Kraken, and the extra range from Rapid Fire and your passive make you uncatchable. This will be way more popular guys next patch, so get around it before it's too late. Here we are Game Leapers, the top spot with a 4.5% increase in win rate, and to find out who it is, let's see if you can guess who it is from these clues I'm about to give you. Alright, the Grievous Wounds bus made me very sad, until this patch. You see, I gain a bit more now when I infect my target. I'm even more of a masochist as well, and a sadist too. Now the Frostfire change has also made me stronger and this is my go-to mythic item. I just hope the nerf to Deadman's Plate doesn't affect me too much next patch. It won't bro, don't worry. Guys, the biggest win rate change of 11.2 goes to... Dr. Mundo. Now the buffs to three of your abilities and Frostfire Gauntlet have made Mundo go from F tier to S tier in a blink of an eye, and he will still be busted when 11.3 comes around. Thanks so much for watching guys, remember to subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss our next upload. This has been Coach Cheese, and until tomorrow's video, uh,